All right, guys, it's no secret I have supported NOCO fearlessly on this channel since the beginning, but there's a huge issue. Let's talk about it. All right guys, like I said in my intro, I've been a huge fan of the NOCO jump boxes. I still believe the GB150 is one of the best jump boxes on the market today. Um, I did a video comparing it against the GBX155 and the other GBX series, but there's some huge issues with the GBX series boxes that I think NOCO is trying to sweep up under the rug and today we're going to bring it out and talk to you about it um obviously there's a difference in the jump boxes let me cover that first if you own a gb series jump box the way it's designed you hook it to your battery you've got it on if the battery voltage is too low in the car battery or truck battery you're trying to start you simply push and hold this button here and you'll see the lights run back a fourth um, that is the override function because it senses your starting battery on your vehicle is too low. The way the GB series boxes are designed, once you hit the starter, it supplies three seconds of power to the vehicle battery, which allows it to crank. The GBX series boxes, on the other hand, are totally different. When you hook it to the battery, of the vehicle you're trying to start you hit the starter it supplies a full one minute of power to the battery on the vehicle you're trying to start the issue is i've never had a problem with my gbx series boxes taking a charge as you guys know and i've seen some of the comments when you plug them in it's only a micro usb charging port that's in here and you can charge it with a cell phone or whatever it takes an extremely long time to charge all the batteries that's in this box i get it the gbx on the other hand when you run it down below the acceptable amount of recharge that this computer has built into it it will not take a charge at all you can leave it on the charge three, four, or five days. I don't care till Moses comes back and parts the sea. That box is not going to take a charge. And when I was at SEMA, I actually talked to the NOCO guys at the booth about this because I'd heard so many complaints about the GBX is not taking a charge. People were just dissatisfied with it. So the guy told me, now this is what he's telling me. I've had extremely mixed results with this. You can, there's a cord that comes into the box and it has a cigarette lighter plug on the end of it. You plug it into your vehicle, you plug it into the jump box, you turn the key on, you have to leave it for 15 minutes. It's supposed to raise the charge level of the GBX up to where you can plug it into a wall charger and continue charging the pack until it's full. You know, I feel like this is something that NOCO's tried to kind of hide from the guys a little bit. Like there should be a piece of paper on the jump box that explains this problem instead of guys having to warranty their jump box out because it is a pain to mail something that weighs this much back. If you can even get it warrantied through them, I don't know. I personally purchase all of this kind of stuff from my tool truck guys and that way I have a warranty. I can hand it back to them and then go from there. So you guys know, obviously, that I'm friends with a lot of Matco dealers and Snap-on dealers and Mac dealers across the country, and all of them have talked about the GBX series having this problem, not taking a charge. I know I got a Cornwell dealer that I'm friends with up north, and he's took several of these boxes back, as well as Tim Parsons out in Utah and Chris Mancini down in Texas. There's an issue with the GBX, and since NOCO kind of doesn't want to come forward and explain this, I decided to make a video. That way, if you guys have a GBX box, 
you know how to try to fix it. Now, from what I've understood and talking with these guys, there's greatly mixed success with this. Some of them will take a charge. Some of them won't take a charge. I don't know. I personally would recommend staying with the GB series until NOCO figures out whatever is going on inside of that thing to get it fixed. I do like the GBX boxes. I feel like they're great boxes, but with the recharge issues that they have, it's kind of a pain because a lot of guys will buy these, use them four or five times a day even in a shop, and they go to charge them, the battery pack won't take a charge. That sucks. When you buy tools because you need them to do the job, and when the tool won't do the job, well, that's the manufacturer's issue that they should correct on these, and I will stand behind that 100%. NOCO should have released some kind of a statement, a video, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Twitter, something of how you should fix your box if it fails. But it seems like they've kind of decided to hide in the shadows and to each their own. But anyway, that's my problem with NOCO on that. I feel like they should come out and explain the whole issue to you guys that spent your hard-earned money to purchase a tool that's not cheap. None of these NOCO boxes are cheap, so they should address the issue. But nevertheless, if you have a GBX, try the cigarette lighter. Try it for 15 minutes with ignition on. If it works, hey, you're a winner. If it don't, sorry, try again. Send it back and get a warranty. That's why you should always buy stuff like this from your tool dealer. That way you don't have to worry about it. But anyway, guys, that's my video today. Hopefully, if you've got a GBX series box, that will tell you how to fix it. And if you're on the fence between the two, buy the GB series because when it runs down, you can charge it back up. It may not be as strong. It may not have the cool X on the end, but it does have a voltage meter, which is nice. And it's dependable as all get out. All right, guys, hopefully you liked this video and you learned a little something about the GBX versus the GB series and you kind of see why I'm kind of a little ticked at NOCO. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check down in the descriptions for links to different tools and discount codes and all that good stuff. There's merchandise there. And if you're not subscribed, all you have to do is click that button. That way you will see the latest, greatest video we have. You guys have a great week. See ya.